installing cable switch plate outlets. Uh, these are pretty simple. This one, the uh, old deal's left behind, so we're gonna need to pop that out. Sometimes you'll need a couple wrenches to separate these if they're tightened down really tight. Um, I find this is about the best way to set it. This way someone can just run a cable to the outlet itself. Um, there are other kinds where the cable passes through from the wall. I kind of like this set up the best. This way no one's really continually pulling this outlet off the wall. Got a couple screws here. Nothing too difficult here. Just lining things up to, to match up. Looks like on this one someone's put this plate back here. So I'm going to need to pull that out in order to be able to screw into the, the little deal. So I took the screw holes that I need for the, for the plate. And this way we'll be able to screw right into the box. In theory. As long as those screws weren't bigger, which they're not. Seems to be catching the threads good. So there we go. Yeah, we just screw it down, nice and simple. And this way when someone goes to hook up their TV, they could just hook up right here. Good to go. Real simple. It's not a good idea to cock these on because people have to pull these off often. And they might not slice through the caulking in order to pull the cover off. So they'll do damage to the texture. So it's better off not to caulk these on. If you have really unsightly gaps and you needed to caulk it on, you might caulk it on, I mean, if it's a rental property or something like that. You might caulk it, paint it, and then slice through with a razor blade so it's already pre-sliced. That way if someone does go to pull it off, they don't pull all your texturing off, but you do seal in your gaps if there is any unsightly gaps around the edges. This one's not too bad from a distance up close. Yeah, you can see that, but you know, from a distance, not gonna show up too bad. But you know, if it did, you could caulk it in, paint it, and then slice it through, pre-slice it through, and you're good to go. That can prevent someone from damaging the texture. Good to go.